everyone thanks for joining me I'm here with another Your Creative Studio unboxing I'm going to do it a little bit different this time I'm going to go through the unboxing um, as quickly as I can unless I get really distracted and then we're going to in the second half of the video make a small project so let's have a look at this one um, so you always get beautiful beautiful cards and wrapping I, I do save this paper uh, and put it in the journal so let's have a look okay as always I'll leave a link to their website in the description below let's have a look what we've got this time Ooh, it looks like a nice vintage they're always kind of vintage themed perfect for journals or any other card making you, you know you don't have to make journals with them stay there you monkey let's take everything out and then I can move the box ooh it looks like it's floral themed this looks nice lovely and then I'll move the box and we'll have a look so this one is um, obviously papers look at those how beautiful are those um, let's have a quick look quick look and then I'll do a project um, an off the cuff kind of project ooh that's like uh, a um, window sheet and these are uh, cute these are like shaped like the like old like distressed and it's nice and thin so these are all like letters how cool are those those are fab oh we might make more than one project with these because my my mind's wearing already so that's that beautiful plenty to play with what's this one this one looks like a box of stickers. Let's have a look. Time for... I don't know. I've absolutely no idea. I don't know why I'm looking at box expecting it to give me clues. <laughs> I just know that it's going to be fabulous because everything this end is fabulous. Um, I'm quite honoured that they want to uh, send them to me on a regular basis. And... Uh, my Lex enjoys their boxes as well because she has a little art journal she likes to collage in and um, she loves their, their stuff so I have to share them now <laughs> which you know I don't know if that's a good thing and to be kind or if I feel a little bit mean and I don't want to share them so these are all lovely stickers perfect um, I see lots of ladies um, over on Instagram doing the reels where they do the little collages and the little mini notebooks, that type of thing. Um, these are perfect for that. And, they, and then these are like papers. Those are like vellum. Uh, beautiful. Perfect for that kind of thing. Perfect, you know, for journal page layouts. If you uh, want them to be a little bit original, tags, pockets, you can use these for absolutely anything you want. So that's those. What's this? Normally means it's a stamp. Oh, it is. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful floral stamp. So we've got, oh, definitely got a floral theme here. That's lovely. So I'll be giving that a try. What's these ones? Let's get in them and have a look. Um, the good thing about the stickers is it's really quick. Most of the work's done for you. I love this little pocket that these are in. Are these stickers? I don't know if these are stickers or cards. Not sure. Um, so they're like floral with like script, like frames. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? You could write little words of inspiration or um, affirmation in there. Those are gorgeous. Look at those. Beautiful. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, I think we'll be doing some some collage with these. Let me just bob them there. What's this one? Some more beautiful florals. Paper ephemera. Let's have a quick look. And you get loads in these. Absolutely loads. Let's have a quick look at these. So these are beautiful. I really like these. Perfect for collage. Oh, ooh. I've just flipped them all over and then you've got some smaller ones they're nice could be because you could put them like that and make like a frame beautiful some little um, banners or tickets oh look that one is a full frame perfect those are really lovely and then you've got some 
leaves and some other separate flowers what we've got here oh, and then some shapes circles and some little mini tags oh wow those are lovely I'll just uh, pick the ones up that I've dropped on the floor excuse me <laughs> I'll put them back in there in a minute let's see what else be. and look how many you get you get loads I mean, I love fussy cutting, but I don't want to have to fussy cut everything. So if it's ready done for me, I'm happy. This looks like a paper ephemera pack. Oh, there's a sticker, some stickers there. That's beautiful, isn't it? How beautiful. I'm not going to even pretend that I know the names of all of the flowers. Because, you know, I'm not Alan Titchmarsh. I don't know. They're just beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. I think it's a mixture. Um, all joking apart, some more beautiful pages for writing or collaging. Those are lovely, lovely little things to stick in an envelope or a little tuck spot. Yeah, those are like little notelets. Beautiful. And then that one's like a vellum. I love how they put different things like some's plain, some's patterned. Those are like vellum, so you're getting a really good variety. And you know, they're not all the same. Look at that one. That's like a vellum, like a see, you know, part see through. Some lovely plain patterns as well. Oh, these are really pretty. Some more vellum ones. That's nice. That'd make a lovely card. That. Just put a sentiment across the middle. How lovely! Look at that. Beautiful. You could even layer them up like that. So you've got you can. Just see the other image through the other side, like put it in on dots or something. That would be nice. I try and do these unboxings quick, but and then I get distracted by all the lovely stuff. That's beautiful. And again, you're getting heaps and heaps and heaps. Beautiful. Right, what's this one? This looks like a napkin or rice paper. So that's pretty, isn't it? Let's have a feel. Have a feel, yeah, it's, it's rice paper and the sheets as well. Um, so you don't have to, you know, sometimes you can get some wastage on larger sheets, but when they're cut into little squares like that, then it's beautiful, it makes it easier for you. Lovely uh, dragonflies and flowers on there, stunning butterfly, really pretty. Love that. These are the things that I don't get to keep, which are the little stickers because my daughter steals them. <laughs> You just create art with them to be fair but those are pretty aren't they um they'd be nice to make like um you could even use the packaging of this to make like a window tag with these in to make them look like specimen cards that would be cute and we've got some little tiny labels here for tiny detail and these are nice because it looks like they've got metallic detailing on them yeah little metallic detail into there, you know, when you just want a little something. How pretty are those? Some travel theme ones there. So those are nice, aren't they, with the little... Can you see the gold detailing on there? Those are pretty. Pretty, pretty. I like those. Those are only really small, just let me put those away. And I love the packaging that they come in. I do even use that. Those are retro labels. What's this one? Is this another stamp? Another stamp. Oh, these are like little smaller flowers. And they're decent, these stamps. They're alright. They, they stamp nicely. Oh, I like that one. So that is like, yeah, that's got a uh, script detailing on it. How lovely is that? Really nice, and then a little miniature floral one there. Lovely. I keep all these in a little plastic sandwich box. All my little loose stamps, so that I know where they are. What's this? Washi. Oh, I love washer. Look at that, beautiful. Let's see if we can just unpeel. Let's see, you can have a little look. It almost looks like a poppy, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm not a botanist. That might even be the wrong word. I don't know. <laughs> and then what we've got here. Some little cards, I think. Let's have a look. See if I can get in it quickly. 
so I'll add a little video on the end of here so stay tuned and then um, I might do a few because these are really really lovely we'll see oh it's a little book I like these I like these little books oh look they look like st so they're made to look like stamps they're nice aren't they so you could either you could stick them on as they are or you could cut them out if you don't want to cut round the ticket part you know the edge like stamp edge just cut it in a straight line it doesn't matter and those are lovely so all fitting within the same sort of vintage floral theme beautiful absolutely gorgeous right so let me just gather some supplies together and let's make a quick project using these fabulous goods so I decided that I was going to make like a little happy mail pouch so I took an envelope that was already in my collection but you could use anything I just chopped the top off it was a top loading one and started to layer up with some of the vintage style um, letter paper and then I decided I was going to layer over it with some good old uh, cheapo tracing paper you can get it really cheaply um, for about a pound um, you can stamp on tracing paper and I do like to make my own backgrounds and so I was having a play with the stamps that came in the kit to see what they stamped like and um, how nicely they layered together um, I did just use normal archival ink and I like that uh, by layering that up you could still see the paper underneath and I did actually um, so take that away off camera and sew around it as well so now that has two pockets one at the front and obviously the original envelope so then I just uh, went about collaging lots and lots and lots of things to collage with and I didn't even touch the sides with this box and I put plenty of layers on um, I like to do some neutrals, some colours and then add a focal point and here I use the large floral um, like die cuts as my focal point and then uh, I, you know I just had a play and just stuck things round and about I like to do things in twos or threes uh, you know and what I do on one side I tend to do to the other it just helps with your, co with your composition and keeping things balanced um, so yeah I had a, a really nice time layering those up then I found some um, pre-done manila tags in my collection so I decided that I would do my own stamp background again and do some more collaging and then one tag could go in the um, main pocket and one tag could go in the um, one created with the tracing paper um, so created just a messy stamped background no real rhyme or reason to it just stamp as random as you can um, and it looks really cool and this time I used uh, a distress ink I um, can't remember which one it is I think you can see it there on the video <laughs> terrible with the names of things um, and so yeah just uh, have a neutral background strip and then maybe some colour and it just seems to work uh, sometimes you've got to um, you know change your mind a bit layer things on take them off some things work some things don't um, I do find that um, there's so much in these boxes that I was a little bit like, oh, I don't know what to use because there's just too much choice. Um, but I managed to narrow it down in the end and I added a little ticket banner there and then the die cut, the floral die cut there is loose, just tucked behind and I liked that idea. Um, just added some uh, small amounts of lace to the bottom and then distressing some seam binding for the top. And I liked the messy kind of um, collective layering look there but even though it's a mess set, it all goes together beautifully because the colours match and it's cohesive um, because the collection matches each other so well. You don't really have to think an awful lot about what you're putting on. Um, I did want a cluster at the bottom corner here and I chopped and changed my mind a few times, which is fine. Um, you know, you can change your mind on things. Um, sometimes you'll put things down and they just don't work don't throw the whole project away 
just lift it off carefully and keep going and um, sometimes things come together really quickly and easily within minutes and other times you've got to just think a little bit harder and um, so I did change the format of this one until I was happy with it um, but it's really not difficult um, adding the lace and the seam binding again kept it all cohesive so that it kind of was a matching set and this will probably go in some happy mail or you could very well slip it inside the pocket of a journal um, because they are of, of that kind of size so yeah they slip inside really nicely and then I decided that if I was going to send it as happy mail I'd just put a little thank you sentiment on and I just had these lying about on my desk so I just distressed them and um, crumpled them up and inked them and added them to the front of the pouch and that's just about all that was needed so I hope you enjoy uh, watching the project appreciate you watching um, take care and have a fantastic day. Bye for now.